17, 18, make it 17 minutes before 12 o'clock, and uh, we're almost up to the middle of the day, the end of the week of the last Friday of 2013. Yeah. The weekend is just around the corner, Robin. Yes, it is. And then uh, it'll still feel like a weekend because next Wednesday is another holiday. Mm -hmm. So Monday and Tuesday will feel like a holiday. Thursday and Friday will feel like a holiday. Saturday and Sunday of next week will feel like a holiday. Yeah. And then the whole world gets back to normal. A week from Monday from now, right? Yep, it does. January the 6th, I believe. All right, which is, which is the day you take down your Christmas tree. So this, this year, the world kind of is in tune with you. Yeah. Do you, you kind of end your holiday and so does the rest of the world. Yeah, isn't that something? It's, it's kind of scary. I, in, in a way, I think Christmas and New Year should always be on Wednesdays because then we, we get this big two-week holiday. It doesn't, yep. it doesn't feel like a two-week holiday when it falls on any other day. No, no, it doesn't. Espe- it's when, especially when Christmas fo- and, and New Year's fall on a Sunday. Then mm-hmm. it's like, oh man, you didn't really get any day off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Take the whole week off. You do? Yeah, sure. See, that's what we're doing when it falls on a Wednesday, though. No, we're not. <laughs> no? Well, not us. Oh, other people? No, we never take off. For most people, yeah. Most people, it's like a big, big, big two-week holiday. Can you hear I can't hear me. Can yeah, you? Thursday to Thursday. <laughs> I hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, there we go. Now I hear me. <laughs> How you doing, Dan? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Thank you for getting the uh, the, the helicopter off the roof. By the way, <laughs> I didn't realize how much of a, I didn't realize how much of a human interest story this was. By the way, I had some emails asking me. Joe Niles wrote to me on Facebook, actually, in a in a public forum, and asked me how it went. And, mm-hmm. and <laughs> they realized this is a toy yeah. helicopter, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. We didn't get a real helicopter stuck well, see, on the roof. But, but see, we, you don't realize you don't realize Just that, so that, knows. that our listeners. I mean, they really know us. I mean, they really know who we are. They they know Doug. They know Doug's circumstances, and they think I could put a real helicopter on the roof. <laughs> I think so. Didn't they get upset? Will it hold? Probably not. It's pretty heavy. Do you remember as a oh, kid? Well, maybe go. they still do it now. Where Santa Claus used to arrive in a helicopter and land on the mall. Oh, yeah. Not, yeah, they you did. know that? Yeah, not I, this mall, did. right? I don't remember this mall. No, I don't think this is. Not built for a helicopter. No. No, it landed in the parking lot here. Oh, it did? Yeah. Sometimes there were a couple of years Santa arrived by helicopter here and it landed in the parking wow. lot. Wow. Want to do that next year? That I sounds like fun. That. And we've had a couple of uh, like pop music. Like, what was the girl who came here and she was a, a popular singer and she, like, thousands of people showed up. Was this oh, in the uh, 80s? Was it Debbie Gibson? Tanya Tucker was, it was here. It, it, oh, it was, wow. No, it was. Uh, it might have been, but. It wasn't Debbie Gibson. It was somebody else out at her same time. Oh, mm. what was that girl? Tiffany. Name? Tiffany. Tiffany was here at this mall. Oh, that's yeah. Like, yeah. Was she really? And, 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 she the, and the place was packed. Well, yeah, she was called the mall singer. I mean, that's what she did. Yeah. Yeah. Tanya Tucker was at uh, Jake Townley's place. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's where, where, where I'm thinking. Uh, that's out there toward Lake Weir and stuff. He has a, an event every year. Oh. Jake Townley, Townley Manufacturing, and Tanya Tucker. When she first started coming into her hotness, you know, her greatness, she was there. I'm her hotness. There. Yep. I'm coming into my hotness. She was 16. I, I think, never came into my hotness. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I kind of just went right over it. Just didn't yeah. happen. It didn't happen for me. <laughs> just kind of scooted over the hotness portion. <laughs> I don't think guys can be hot. That's just not a word that you associate with. I don't know. Some women might disagree. I guess they that's do. Right. Yeah. That's now, right. Now, maybe not about me. It might not apply. But but you're Doug's hero, Dan. Oh, fantastic. You rescued his helicopter off the roof. Yeah, yeah. So the Is next time you went to fly this remote control helicopter, right, right. did you do it in the field? We haven't flown it yet. Oh, okay. Uh, Doug came over last night after it was already dark, and he came yeah, that's to, a mistake. Came to <laughs> yeah, so we'll, came to pick up his helicopter. <laughs> we'll find out today if it's still around open or not. field. <laughs> it <laughs> might a be big gone. open field. Yeah, it's going to be on top of his house now. So, <sighs> well, that's not too bad. Or in the street. Even I could get up there, but <laughs> yeah, he took a real climber like you. Now, what is there a stair? Was there a ladder on the second level up there? Yeah, another ladder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, first you go up the set of steps, then on the ladder, then you walk across, then you go up another ladder because you can see wow. it's, it's like a double. Now, are there? They've got the facade here because there are so many walls. They've they've done a really nice job, but on the other side, it's a little more difficult to get around. Oh really? Wow. Well, because what you're looking at is you know 40 foot of wall, but the roof line isn't at 40 feet. It's like 30 feet. So you got a 10 foot wall all the way around. Oh, oh my I didn't gosh! Know that. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Wow. Oh, so when that helicopter went over there, it went over a 10-foot wall. Yeah. And, and well, landed Well, that top. wall was on the second story above that, so it was higher up, so it went over like a six-foot wall. Remember, because you could see me from down there. The mall I went to as a kid was a single-story mall like this is. When I went back there a couple of years ago yeah. in New York, it was a double-story mall, so I wonder how they did that. Ooh, that was a job. 
That's a job. They put a second story on top yeah, of that moon. That's yeah. a heck of a job. You got to rip off that whole structure. I mean, yeah, that's got to be. For a those thing. who are from Long Island, it's Roosevelt, Roosevelt Field. And for those who know the historical significance of Roosevelt Field, that's where uh, Charles Lindbergh took off. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. And so right lots out, of stories. So right Lindbergh. outside, like Macy's or something, whatever, one of the, what do you call it? Anchor, anchor stores. Store. Mm-hmm. Right outside one of the anchor stores, there's this plaque commemorating where where he took off. And I'm thinking, I, that was like hindsight. They they should have thought, can we move them all over a little bit and make the plaque not part of a yeah, uh, exactly. of a shopping complex? <laughs> exactly. Now his story was that he there. he just said, oh, compass is broke. I got oh, too late. I can't come back. <laughs> that was him trying to get across the ocean because they told him not to right I think he went right. anyway I think there was a story like that yeah, yeah. had he crashed it would have been oh we told you so and, <laughs> yeah, and there was also the story of of course his son was kidnapped and murdered do you remember that no I don't baby kidnapped yeah he's oh that's baby. terrible yeah horrible story all right. Well, that that's probably a movie about that somewhere. There should be. I'm sure there is. I'm there needs to be a new sure. one. Not about that part. Just about the whole flight. Thing. Oh, they would not make a movie about Lindbergh without that part. No. There's a Howard Hughes movie. It was kind of a weird one though. But he was a weird guy apparently. Aviator. Have you seen that one? Did I see Aviator? I don't think I did. You know what I did see old. though? What this year? What was that movie I watched? You saw a movie this year? I did. From his whole entirety. I watched it on my computer oh, with, with um, Doug and Robin. Uh, Gatsby. The, the Great, Great Gatsby. Gatsby. Oh, that was interesting, wasn't yeah. it? I didn't. Everybody liked it a lot. Eh. I liked it a little. I'm with you. I liked it a oh, little good. bit. I just thought it was a kind of a... They could have because, made the ending because, a little better. Yeah, but, he, because here's the thing with that But it movie. was the book. All right, here's... What, and, and the book to... Okay. What guy is going to argue with another guy who's going to drive which car? That is so kid. The, what... Yeah, so be that whole ending where they had to, you know, argue who was driving the car so that nobody knew who was driving the car. That was crazy. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but that's because they hit somebody. No, 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 no. Before they hit somebody, yeah. they come out and he says, "No, no, I'm driving this car." No, 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 you're not. I'm driving this car. Well, who, who does that? You drive your well, own car. It was, it was like yeah, a exactly. It's like a Peugeot and a. Or a, a Volkswagen and a new Porsche, I guess. Yeah, Maybe but do, they, okay. were they both arguing or which was a cooler right, car? Let's say I was at your house, and we're going to go someplace, mm-hmm. and you have a cool car. That's right. And I say to you, I'm going to drive your car. Yes, you do. And you're going to say, no, you're not. You're driving <laughs> your right. own car. And there's the argument. <laughs> but that doesn't happen in real life. Sure it does. You've got your buddies. They want to come out and drive your car. You and do you let me? And do you let me drive I did. Your... Yeah. I you was, did? I, I caved. <laughs> yeah. I caved. I let you drive the car. Mostly because it's a cooler car. Oh, so, and then my girlfriend hits somebody. Yep. And not only do I not get blamed, but you get blamed. Yeah, that's a problem. That's crazy. Yeah. Exactly. What kind of a storyline is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the problem with the books. Yeah, well, and and uh, by the way, that was a big spoiler. We shouldn't have even talked about that on the air. Oh, wow, they'd have no idea. It's such a compli- it, it is complicated, is which it? is kind of good, I guess. But it's I don't know. I was a so so fan. Women liked it more than guys. Okay, well, the glitz then, and the glamour of the twenty was nice. Maybe that's 20s. what it was. Maybe that's oh. what it was. And there was a, a couple of other movies I watched this year. I know you probably didn't see this one. Uh, oh, well. Schultz gets the blues. Yeah, that was a What's good that one. Now? Schultze gets the blues. You probably didn't that, see that, that movie. That was a good no. one. <laughs> Can't tell you that I did. <laughs> Can't say that was on my top. Uh, Schultze gets the blues was a movie list. about a German accordion player <clears throat> who wins a contest to mm-hmm. play in an Oktoberfest in Texas, which was a big deal for him to go all the way from Germany to Texas. Right. All of his friends in Germany are really excited for him because he won this contest. Hmm. And he gets over to Texas, and he's so interested in playing this new amuse, new American music called uh, Zydeco. Zydeco. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. he gets here and they're playing the same old boring polkas and he's like, oh, you got to be kidding. Here mm-hmm. I am in Texas, Louisiana, yeah. the home of Zydeco and they're asking me to play this goofy polka that I stopped playing four years ago. So he's excited to go to Texas, yet Texas are excited to go to Germany, but just for a different reason. But he, they wanted a real German accordionist at their Oktoberfest. Mm. Yeah. And I only watched it because I like the accordion. On a real German beer. Yeah, it was a good one. Good <laughs> In my Oktoberfest. All right, all right. Here we go. We've got some um, beer. 19, uh, two, <laughs> 2014 movie trivia. Oh, my damn okay. ham. Uh, and <laughs> you know, the ham. I don't want any damn ham. I want a beer. <laughs> and uh, so we need to know what the prices are. 
Well, we have two tickets to the Ocala Civic Theater stage musical stage production of I Do, I Do, I Do, I Do. And uh, this is a cool show. There are four different couples that are portraying the two characters, Michael and Agnes Snow, throughout their 50 years of marriage from 1895 to 1945. So as they age, the couples will change. Very, very interesting. When's it uh, doing? Great I, job, Mary Britt. January 9th through the 19th. Okay. Uh, we have two yeah. free tickets chicken sandwiches <laughs> now that's my price <laughs> there you go from I chick-fil-a those. <laughs> those are good sandwiches i gotta say they, they are, are. They really, are. They really good really are good uh and it's only good for the chick-fil-a that's in the mall so there are two free chicken Not sandwiches that other here in the mall food restaurants have bad chicken sandwiches but those are just better <laughs> <laughs> i just like those better and there are two tickets to dance alive it's the uh state mm-hmm. touring company of florida and they do perform all over the united states they have different uh, productions going on from now until may 14th uh, that's when these two tickets expire uh, they expire may 14th so if you win this prize you can call them up on the phone or visit their website so Select which performance you would like to see, and there you go. You've got it. And they're all all of their performances are up in Gainesville, at the Thomas Center. Very very uh, classy. Total prize pack value of about ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yes. All right. We need two callers. Here you go. Call six two two nine six two two. The climate control source hotline. Call in now. You can bet on me. I'm Dan. Or you can bet on Robin. That's Robin. And I'm Robin. (laughs) 622-9622. 622-9622. That's 622-WOCA. Call now. Get your chance to win. We'll take a break and be right back. <laughs> or not. Yeah. Right, hold on. Let me push a button. Oh, okay. You All did right. a good job. Here we go. <laughs> on the next Voice of Ocala, it's Community Gazette Day, but we won't be live at Gateway Bank. We'll be here in the studio. It is Ask the Cops, and we'll reprise a recent edition of Ask the Cops. Plus, Chuck Gallagher will call into the show talking about the Duck Dynasty debacle. And Powell Latimer from Warchant.com checks in, getting you set for the National Championship game, Florida State versus Auburn. All that and more on the next Voice of Ocala, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA, The Source. This holiday service announcement brought to you by Ocala Aviation and your friends here at this station. Let me ask you a question. Are you a bad Santa? Do people cringe before they open your presents? Has re-gifting your gifts become a holiday tradition? Well, you're not alone. According to the internet, someone somewhere did a survey, and it turns out six out of ten gift givers are labeled as bad Santas. If you or someone you love has been diagnosed as a bad Santa, don't despair. There is a cure. It's not a pill or an elixir. We couldn't bottle it even if we tried. So what is this miracle cure for bad Santas everywhere? You'll never guess. So I might as well tell you. It's a discovery flight from Ocala Aviation. Yes, I speak the truth. Once they take to the skies, I guarantee they won't be trying to re-gift this present. A Discovery Flight will have people singing your praises as the best Santa ever. Never again will you have to attach a gift receipt to your present. For more details about this amazing Discovery Flight, call Ocala Aviation now. We have operators standing by. 861-7484. 861-7484. And Merry Christmas. Thank you. Uh, Anne is betting on Dan, and Jesse is betting on you, Robin. Yep. And um, by the way, we had a call from Kathy earlier, and uh, she let us know that the movie we were thinking of was called August Osage oh. County. Okay. August Osage County. That was something we talked about before. All right. That started on Christmas Day. Oh, wow. Mer- Meryl Streep and Julie Roberts. Julia, or Julia, Ro- whatever her name is. Julie Roberts. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, these are all movies from 2013. Jeremy Irons won an Academy Award. So did Emma Thompson. And Viola Davis, she was nominated for an Oscar. Only one film this year assembled this collection of raw acting talent. In which movie did these three share the screen? Oh, was that The Help? No. Jeremy Irons, Emma Thompson, and Viola Davis. Emma Thompson. And Jeremy Irons. It's a two-word title. Oh, wow. The Butler. No, the oh, first initial is B, second initial is C, B.C. B.C. <laughs> remember, remember Rekha Welch in One Million Years B.C.? There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember right. Caveman, that 84 movie? With Ringo Starr, right? <laughs> watched, yeah, with Ringo Starr. It was yeah. Caveman, yeah. Yeah. I just watched that the other night. <laughs> it was Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Creatures. Oh. Have you heard of that one? Yes, I saw it. Was it good? It was, it was okay. It was kind of like a teenage witch type of play off of... Uh, it was okay. Oh, okay. It was a chick flick. All right, here we go. One, <laughs> a lot of chick flicks. One of the, hot, of one of the highlights of the year 
was the sequels to Despicable Me and Monsters, Inc. being released during the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, which of the following is true? I've got four sentences to read to you. Oh, my. Which okay. of the following is true? Okay. Number one, Monsters U was released first and ultimately earned $170 million more than Despicable Me 2. I just like to say I earned $170 million, not much less more. <laughs> Despicable Me 2 is, is, quite, is number two. Despicable Me 2 was released first and ultimately earned $170 million more than uh, Monsters U. Monsters, mm. whatever. University. Uh, Monsters U is ch third choice. Monsters U was really second and ultimately earned $170 million more. Or is it choice four? Despicable Me was really second and ultimately earned $170 million more. And only one of those is true. Yes. Wow, this is... Robin? Oh, yeah. it's choice number two. No. Mm hmm. Mm. It's hard to keep track with all that. Well, it has to be number four. It is number four. There you go. Okay. Despicable Me 2 was really second... And earned one hundred seventy million dollars more. That's impressive. That's unbelievable. Yeah. That is impressive. Not yeah. just one hundred seventy million, but more. Yeah, you right. See either one of those. They're I both know. cute movies, though. I know. All right. This film took advantage of a nearly two-month window in which there were no other significant animated films released, and turned this absence of competition into more than five hundred million dollars right. at the box Frozen? office. Frozen. No. No. Wow. This film, released in 2013, took advantage of a two-month window in two which there were window. no other significant animated films released. Because of the absence of competition, $500 million was earned at the box office. Jeez. <laughs> it's unbelievable. An animated film. Yeah. $500 million. Really. One word starts with a T. Too much money. Oh, Thor. <laughs> no. Oh, that's right. He wasn't animated. Yeah, he's real. He's a real guy. He's a real boy. <laughs> All right, name of the movie is Turbo. Turbo. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. That got five hundred million. That's what it says. It's a snail. Oh, wow. Is that what it is? It's a snail. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's a snail. <laughs> well, it came out with no competition. Okay, that's the key. That's the key then. <laughs> I'm going to create an animated movie about a computer flag. <laughs> yeah, there you extension go. Extension cord. All right, the next one is. Uh, it's good to go. I'm uh, hoping you, if you know movies, maybe you know what this means. I'm kind of lost, but here it is. She played a character who had a to do list. Mm hmm. That's it. Who's the actress that played a character that had a to do list? <laughs> Where are you the getting actress. these questions? These are hard. I know. She played an actress. She played a character. A character. Oh, that, yeah, she was an actress. That had a to do list. Well, she could have played an actress. Her initials are SS. That's the oh, character's I'm sorry, name? I'm sorry, I'm oh, sorry. No, no, no. Sarandon? No, no, I'm sorry. Her initials oh. are AP. AP. That's her initials or the character's initials? Her initials, the actress. AP? AP. She played a character who had and a to-do list. And, and you'll have to explain it to me if you get it. I don't understand it. I'm at a loss. All right, it's Albury Plaza. Of nothing. course, that Albury Plaza. flew off of our... Yeah, that was right on the top. No, no, yeah. no, no, Not a clue. No one here with that. It's okay. No. Uh, did you get this off the indie film list? No. Not that one, I mean. No. No, this is from the IDBM or something like that? IMDB. Whatever it is. Okay. Yeah. That's impressive. The poster for this film shows some kind of cybernetic doohickey. Ooh, cool. Implanted in the back of the skull of a hero, of mm. the hero of the movie. And that was this year. This year. The poster for this film shows some kind of a cybernetic doohickey implanted in the back of the skull of our hero. Of the hero. Right. Is that Transformers 3? It's a one word oh. answer. starts with the letter E. One word answer. E. Electronic man. No. You said it yesterday. It was part of yesterday's thing. <laughs> oh, great. That's fantastic. <laughs> I said it yesterday. Let's huh? see if somebody knows. Hold on. Why is this mouth so bad, Dan? You got something wrong with this mouth. No, no, no. Yes, it is. Good morning. You're no, on the air. What, what do you fine. think the answer is? Elysium. Yes. Very good. Oh, wow. Elysium. All right. Who do you want to give the point to? I'll give it to Robin. Robin. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Go, Robin. <Bye>. Wow. <laughs> two for Jesse. That's right. I forgot about thank that. You. All right. William Shakespeare. He was not into that. Who you may no. have heard of. <laughs> wrote many, many plays. Which of the following came to the big screen in 2013? Was it Much Ado About Nothing, mm -mm. Twelfth Night, Othello, or The Winter's Tale? No, The Winter's Tale? No. Much to do about nothing. Yes. Wow. Good did job, you know that, Anna. Did you know there was a film this year? No, I didn't know there it was, was a, a film, film years year. ago. Well, apparently this I year. I figured they too. just redid it. Apparently, Twelfth Night was years ago. Yeah. Well, Shakespeare was years ago. Yeah. <laughs> People run out of new stuff. 
All right, this is a spoiler, so if you don't want to know the answer to this one... Uh, Close your ears. All right. Uh, okay. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, as the title so helpfully instructs, mm-hmm. who dies at the end? What the heck is that asking? Uh, there was a movie, and I cannot remember the name of it, but you're, yes, the, the name of the movie is Somebody, Somebody Dies. It was a strange movie. I watched it just for the heck of it, but it was strange. And I, I can't remember. I was like, oh, really? Billy Bob Dies is the name of the movie <laughs> or something like that. Uh, John is the answer. Oh, see. John something. Dies. <laughs> is that the name of the movie, John Dies? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> wow. John Dies at the end. Wow. That's but crazy. the funny thing is he doesn't, so. Oh, wow. Oh, there's yeah. a spoiler for you. There me. you go. Yep. Yeah. He doesn't die. All right. Horror. Dies or not. Oh, this is horror. Ho- no, this is now. Oh, no. Oh. Horror. <laughs> horror. Apparently decided to cross state lines as the haunting in Connecticut 2 was subtitled Ghosts of what? Jersey? <laughs> no. Eastwick? No. Long Island? No. Boston? No. This Vermont, crazy New Hampshire. answer here. No, Maine. I'm trying to run the gamut here. I Maine. know, I know. I mean, it, you're not, it's not got, really. It doesn't make sense. The ghost oh, okay. of Vermont, the ghost of Texas. No. Yeah, we're gonna go crazy. California. No. Yeah, there you go. No. It's, Transylvania. It's the ghosts of Georgia. We were getting okay. there a couple yeah. more times. We'd have so had you that. never heard yeah. of the haunting yeah. in Connecticut too? Not so much. No. The ghosts of Georgia. <laughs> yeah. I th- yeah. A lot of films just don't make it. Period. Uh, I guess it's all about budget, though. If Billy you... and Nick <laughs> oh, sorry. get an internship at the movie called Blank in the Internship. At a movie? Yeah. What? Billy and Nick. <laughs> a doctor in the internship. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we would more time. This is funny. Wait, the movie's made in an internship, right? Billy and Nick get an internship at Blank in the Internship. Google. Google. Yes. Oh. Okay. I was confused okay. on the whole. Okay. Yeah, right. that was kind of cool. So, guys. <laughs> that was the guys. They're I saw happy. That. Okay. They wave. Not only was this world leader the subject of a biopic during the year. What now? Not only was this world leader oh, the Mandela? subject of a biopic. Mandela is right. Nice, Robin. Okay. Jumped oh. in there. Yes. Yeah, quite much. Wow. Without even finishing the answer. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> three, three of these pop culture landmarks received an additional dimension during the year. Which of these did not get the 3D treatment oh. for special re-release? Was it The Wizard of Oz, Ghostbusters, Jurassic Park, or Top Gun? I'm going to go with Ghostbusters. You are right. Ghostbusters did not get a 3D. Because I would have seen that. I'll go see that. I'm waiting for Ghostbusters 3. <laughs> Did you guys watch Ghostbusters? One or two? Yeah. I, d- I did see Ghostbusters. I like that. Did I see Those two? Movies. I saw one. I know that. Yeah, you saw two. two. We're waiting on Murray. He's, he's got also. a... Bill Murray's a holdup, I think. All right. One, one, oh. one more. Uh, from the get-go, Spike Lee's adaptation of Old Boy seemed like a strange proposition, and the director's update of the cult film from this country bombed during its Thanksgiving opening. What country? India. No? Botswana. <laughs> no. England? No, South Korea. Oh, okay. Okay, we have one more, quick. Yeah. Yeah, we're We're tied. Oh, we have to do it. Yeah. I see. We're tied. So so we're going to run into the rerun or whatever they're doing on Mike Huckabee. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, Possibly up to a dozen um, treated themselves to believe... Oh, this is that's a tongue-in-cheek. Okay, possibly up to a dozen treated themselves to believe a 2013 3D concert film featuring what singer? Josh Groban? No. I have no idea. Next. Really? Yeah, I have no clue. But it's Justin Bieber. Yeah. Oh, yes. Of course. We'll never guess that. <laughs> a woman for all seasons. This summer, she was the lifeguard. This winter, she got frozen. Who are we talking about? Oh, was it the blonde-haired lady? I don't know. I only have the name. With the of short blonde hair. She's Oh, she's so cute. She was the lifeguard um, this summer, and this winter, she got frozen. Oh, I don't know about? her name. Is this a voice from Frozen or something? Maybe? I probably. Her initials are yeah. KB. 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 I don't know. Kate. Kate. Um. I have no clue. God, I can't. I can't remember the name. <laughs> Kristen Bell. That's, that's it. Name. Oh, you're right though. The short girl with the hair. Yeah. 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 yeah short blonde. Yeah. Short blonde hair. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Benedict Cumberbatch was everywhere in 2013. 
Oh, good for him. Which movie of the ones I read to you did not have Benedict Cumberbatch in it? Which one did not have him in it? Was it 12 Years a Slave, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, Lee Daniels, The Butler, or Star Trek Into Darkness? The did Butler? The Butler is right, yeah. Yeah! Oh, wow. That Cumber- was impressive. Cumberbatch is the voice of both Smog and Necromancer in The Hobbit. Wow. That's impressive. Did not know that. He's all over the place. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah. Congratulations, yes. uh, Jesse. Woo, all right. She wins Jesse, by one. Jesse Come wins. give your prize. Right. Thanks, guys. We'll we see you on Monday. And we are, you want to you give us a, a we're already in progress kind of an announcement? Because we're we heading. We now return to Mike Huckabee. Already in progress with your <laughs> special guest host, whoever he is. To realize just what a J.D. great Hayward. year this has been, <laughs> huh? Man, the economy uh, continues to plumb the depths despite a creative accounting. Uh, in the style of Cook County Chicago politics from the Bureau of Labor Statistics and